Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, we want to handle the event when the user taps on the next button. So we want the uh, collection view to programmatically scroll to the next cell, okay? And of course, when the user taps on the order now button, we want to detect that this is the last uh, button of the slides. And then we want to transit the user out of the onboarding experience into the main part of the app. Okay, so let's do that in this video. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is for the collection view cell to communicate back to its parent, all right? Again, I think I've mentioned many times that there are uh, usually two ways to do it, using the protocols and delegates pattern or the closure. So in this uh, project, we want to use the closure to demonstrate this. Okay, so what we can do is that we can create a variable over here. We can call this action button the tab. Okay, and this will be the signature. So if you have created a completion handler, this will be very familiar to you. And I'm going to make this an optional, okay? So I'm going to call this um, closure uh, upon this action button tab function over here. And because this is an optional, I have to put in the question mark and uh, end with the uh, brackets over here, okay? Let me move those lines over here. And then over here under the um, self item add, I can do self for action button uh, did tap okay so let's um, assign this to a closure uh, i'm going to maybe just print out the index path over here to show you how this will work okay so maybe let's hit the play button okay so if i click on the next button notice that it's being printed out zero zero on my console if i bring this up and i click on this again it'll be zero one if you have the next um slide let's assume that we have uh maybe let's assume we have another one of this okay oops okay let's assume we have three slides then you should see zero one and two okay so let's click on this one first one and two all right so this is how it's going to track uh, which uh, slide we are at okay so what we can do over here is that uh, we are going to handle uh, the event for the button tab according to the index path okay so let's create a private function over here so let's call this a uh, handle action button tab and then let's do add index path which will be of type index path, okay? So we can pass in the index path over here. So uh, let's do self dot uh, handle action button tap add, and we can pass in the index path, okay? So a word of caution, guys, uh, because this is a closure, I think it's better for us to make this a weak self to avoid any kind of retain cycle. So let's do it like that, okay? So what I can do over here is that I can find out, I can compare against the slides uh, array to know whether uh, I'm on the last slide or not. Okay, so I can do something like that. If index path dot item equals to slides dot count minus one, then we know that we are on the last slide. Else, all right, there is more to go and we can uh, transit to the next slide, okay? Because right now, uh, slides dot count, uh, we have two items. So two minus one will be one. And if the index path dot row is one, then we know that we are on the last slide. Okay, so over here, let's do a let index equals to index path dot item plus one. All right, guys. So this is to uh, to signify that we want the next index, uh, the next row. Okay, so we're gonna do collection view dot scroll to item add. Okay, so let's uh, create this uh, index over here. Uh, let's see. Let's create this index next index path okay let's let's do it like that index path and then let's select maybe this one over here and then for the item okay i can just pass in the item over here okay so maybe i'll just call this item okay and then uh okay maybe next item to make it more explicit next item we want to pass the next item and then the section will remain the same so it will be a zero okay so i can just pass in the next index path over here and then uh, this will be uh, top, okay? Uh, a couple of selections over here, feel free to play with that, but uh, top seems to be working for me. And animated, let's set this to be true, okay? All right, so uh, maybe I wanna put a breakpoint over here as well at line 48, so let's just run the app right now. Okay, so I don't expect the breakpoint to be fired when I click on the next button. 
Oops, so it looks like it, had, it, it moved quite fast. Okay, yeah, so I hit the next, it, 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 it scrolls to the next uh, cell. But if I hit on the other button right now, I believe the breakpoint will be triggered. Okay, so let's see if this is working. All right, guys, so this is working as, as expected. All right, so the next thing we want to do is that we want to work on this part over here. So how can we uh, transit to the next screen? So let's ensure that we have the uh, the main apps, uh, the main uh, app screen over here so i'm going to just bring in a view controller all right as we have done in the past examples and then let's bring in a label okay so let's bring in a label and then let's just put it somewhere in the middle horizontally and vertically in container and uh, maybe we can just uh, increase the font size to 24 and then let's call this, oops, let's uh, change the text over here to say main app, something like that, okay? And then uh, we're not going to use a segue or anything like that, but we want to assign the storyboard ID. So let's call this uh, main app view controller. All right, so again, this is something that you can define on your own. Okay, so let's come back to the uh, onboarding view controller. And then I'm going to create another function over here to say uh, uh, show a uh, main app. Okay, so what I can do over here is uh, let's uh, initialize the, let's instantiate the view controller via the storyboard. So let's do let main app view controller equals the UI storyboard. Okay, let's initialize this and then this will be in the main, the main storyboard. For the bundle, we can set this as nail dot initialize uh, view controller with the identifier. So I think we can choose this one over here. And then uh, let's put in a main app. Uh, view controller all right guys so this has to match uh, whatever that we put in over here okay so let me just copy this in case i have a typo and just paste this in here okay it's the same okay so we have this and then um we are going to uh, get the um the scene delegate okay because this is on uh, xcode um let me see xcode 11 so uh, uh the we're not going to use it we're not going to we're not going to get the uh the uh the ui window or the root uh, view controller from the app delegate but instead the uh, scene delegate so let's do if let window scene equals the ui application dot shared dot connected scenes dot first whoops dot first as a ui window scene okay uh, we also need a uh, let scene delegate equals to window scene dot delegate as scene delegate. All right, guys, I know it's a bit of a mouthful here. Let window equals the scene um, delegate dot window. Whoops, dot window. Do I have this? Oh, sorry, guys. This has to be a small s. So let's try that again. Dot window. All right, um, yep, okay, then we do window, window dot root view controller equals to main app view controller. All right, guys, as of this, this is the solution that I got from Stack Overflow, so uh, feel free to check it out. Okay, I'm gonna hit the enter button to just um, put them on a new line so that it's more readable. And then we want to just add some kind of animation as well. So UI view dot transition transition with oops transition with okay so select the one that says with over here so i'm going to pass in window and for the duration it'll be 0 0.25 uh, for the options let's do cross dissolve and for the animation i think and the completion we can just set this as nil okay so i can also just make this neater okay something like that and let me just remove those empty spaces this one as well, this one, and this one as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to just call this function over here if we are on the last slide. Okay, so let's run the app and let's see if this is working for us. Okay, so clicking on the next button should uh, bring me to the next slide. Okay, and then clicking on the order button should bring me to the main app. All right, guys, this is looking fine, and this is all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.